Hi, Mom. Okay, we are going to go back to doing our door on this one and go find what's her face's gobstones. Uh, Zen Zenobius. Okay, let's see. Mm. All right, we got one, one, two, three. And so that's the three headed serpent. Yas. Uh, oh, gotta do that. That's three, five, four. Oh, what's four? The weird owly thingy. Don't cheap out on me. There should be two in here. Don't cheap out on me. It's back here. Oh, there's another one inside. <gasps> it's puzzle doorception. I can't walk away from this. All right, we have a think it's a Dementor. I'm going to go with Dementor. It looks kind of like a weird, maybe not. Is it a Kraken? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What is that one? That's seven. Unicorn is the doubles. It's kind of weird. I always go backwards. You'd think I'd start with the, the one question mark first. Uh, okay. Yeah. Strange furry tarantula. What are you? Uh, eight, seven, six, seven. Oh, math. Six. Six. Little iguana lizard man. Hey. Math is not my strong suit. Get ready for shitty math. Uh, five. Uh, weird furry tarantula. See, I did it again. I went backwards. Okay. And furry tarantula. See, and I just looked at that and I forgot it was a five. And then six. And then so it's four. Owl man. Owl that looks like he's standing on a broomstick. Oh, I remember that creature. Okay, I end up catching some of these and putting them in my, um, well, it's supposed to be a rescue for beasts. Honestly, it's more like a menagerie. It's a little, little lacking. I mean, the magic part's cool, but these animals are not going to have fun living in those spaces. I don't think. Did I get everything out of there? Rebellion. I spaced out for a second. Oh, I heard another ding. And it's that way. Is it you? No. No, nope. I'm just... Oh, it's... it's Okay. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Boom. Nice. Arithmancy classroom. So it's the... It's math. This classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology, though a great many opt instead to spend the period counting moon calves whilst nodding off at their desks. Got it. That's what I would do too. Let's go. We got gobscones to find. Gobscones, it's the uh, breakfast. Version. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Alright, well, maybe the map will show me those. Yeah, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I got that. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that's the seventh or eighth time I've heard you say that. Okay. Rebellion. There he is. Well, that's 
one of Zenobia's cobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Well, we're getting a little cocky, aren't we? Do you have a paper? Okay, you're one of those things with the papers. Alright, there's one up in her. And it's probably way up in there. Yeah, it's all the way up there. I guarantee you. It's oh! That's a platypus! I need to send this to... I need to show Eric. Oh, wait, no. It's not a platypus! Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. It's a niffler. Ugh. A doy. The only regular animals they really have in this is, like, cats. And owls. Platypus. Jeez. Smoke another one, Steph. Oh, so much running. Revelia. Ooh, magical door that has presents inside. You must pay with your math. Alright. It's, uh, it's a 9 and a 3. And so it's a 12. So it's 7. Sucky face. I really gotta find out what these are. I might have to go online or something and look it up because it's gonna drive me absolutely crazy. Obviously... Uh, unicorn. But like, what the fuck is that? What is that supposed to be? A furry, frowny-faced crab spider? Alright. Uh, 15, and the finally, I know what it is, head. Grap, grap thorn. That's 2, 17, zero, 6. Iguana. Leopoldian. Oh yeah. Eh. Doors are rude. Right, I gotta go through this junk and pick out the higher, higher grade. The high grade. Man, I would be in such good shape if I were at Hogwarts. Revelio. You're probably the very top. There's no doubt about it. It's like across. Is it over there? Oh man, those are those. Um, I think it's called a. Uh, is it? <laughs> this is tough. Brazier, brazier, brazier. <laughs> the shit that you light on fire and it's like a big torch. Where is this gobstone? Okay. But I don't have... Huh? No. Where is it? Revelia. What? That's not it, is it? Dude, is it fucking outside? Excuse my language. Where is this damn thing? I mean, we're pretty up there. How do I get there? Oh. All right. Hold up. It's trying to show me. It's literally like, come this way. Just follow the friggin' line. Voila. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Is it right here or is it? Oh, there's so many new scrolly looking things. Goblet of Fire Casket. I didn't know that was what it was called. A little dark. But, uh, the Goblet of Fire rests with, it with the Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel-encrusted chest. The goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Triwizard Tournament since the contest's establishment in the late 13th century. Got it. Oh, sorry, I had to burp. Any more? Rebellion. 
guys are all just chilling up here. Trophy room. This room contains the house cup, Quidditch trophies, dueling trophies, and other awards given at the school. Students who step out of line can be found polishing the silver here by hand as a reminder of the value of hard work. Ha! <laughs> That's not all they're polishing up here. Oh! What are you? Herbology Award. Yada yada. Award talk. Gobstone! Alright, I have this purple space. Am I not even there yet? Is it above me? Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Is there an above me? This is what I was talking about. Hogwarts is very tricky. Oh, it's locked. Get lost super duper easy. Okay. Rebellion. It keeps coming. There, that, that little motherfucker. God damn it. And there's one right in here? That's what it says. Rebellion. Oh. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. All right. I am not sad that that one's over. She better pay me. I think I'm going to tell her to pay me. She can go find that shit on her own. I'm usually nice. I'm a nice Ravenclaw. But... If they just be sending me around to do their errands because they don't want to do it, they're going to pay up. Also, she didn't even meet me halfway. I had to go and find her ass where she was before. I hope you had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Your gobstones. Yeah, I did. Hello, Zenobia. I found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, damn. <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Mm. Can I say for a price? It says no. I think I'll keep them. That's not what I was saying. I wanted to take this little girl's money. Fine. Of course, they are yours after all. I did. Oh, I did slide wonderful. in that sick burn. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. All right, Zenobia, can you do me a favor and don't spread my name around in regards to you having your gobstones back? Right? I'm pretty sure people would come at me. Uh, I think that's a terrible idea. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun. And now everyone knows the rules. Very mm -hmm. well. Off I go. Wish me luck. Well, she's not very smart. At least that can be said for her. All right, let's see. Um, she's let's say she's book smart. Something's wrong with her robe. What happened? You wrote a. <laughs> Oh, someone needs to tell her her robe's stuck in the back of her pants. <laughs> oh, what are we doing next? Yeah, Hogsmeade. Woo! Finally. Well, okay, so I gotta go over the gear. Some new gear. So you gotta make sure you're wearing the bells that you have. Okay. We've got a plus ten. Yes, that is it. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Mm, 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 mm. No, stick with the, the amazingly one. The legendary. No, no pets. Yes, yes. It's actually a little cute. Especially if I'm going to Hogsmeade, I might keep this look. I am not, I'm not playing. It's looking pretty cute. Do I have any more gloves? No, I just checked. 
Unlock my wand. Oh, Dora. Okay, I can't use wand handles until obviously I get a new wand because I don't have one. You should be wearing your glasses. Oh, no, you don't need glasses. Yeah, I'll change that later. She looks good. Um, what's the other thing? Before I go, so they're not letting me do talents yet. I don't know when they're going to let me do that. Obviously, I haven't even gotten to Hogsmeade yet, so I'm going to need to do that. Uh, let's see if we got any. Oh, no, that's collections. I literally never go in here because you just are constantly trying to get rid of this fucking little thing. So, like, the only way to get rid of it is, um, is to, like, go over it with your cursor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Every single time I see something new, I've gotta do that. I'm not doing it. So, if you're the kind of person that it pisses you off, that, like, this isn't gone, because I'm one of those people, and I really had to dial it down. I had to just ignore it. And the inventory thing's kind of the same way, where it's like, ugh, okay, yeah, I see. I have a piece of paper. That's awesome. What is new... It must be the the uh, handles. So that is that going to just stay like that? Anyway. We'll see. I guess now I can go to Hogsmeade. Ew. No. No. That hat's not going to work. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Also, you don't need a scarf. It's the summertime. It's just ish. Early fall. And <sighs> front door. Am I doing anything else before I have to go? Nah, probably shouldn't. I eventually my inventory is going to get too full. I gotta go sell. Make some space. Is there literally one right behind me? The the flu flame. There's this guy and then ah oh, it must be like you'd have to go around the entire school just to wrap back around. Alright, cool. Getting out of here. <laughs> Extremely enthusiastic run. Knees up, ladies. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Throw my whole ass self into the door. Well, oh, it's my I'd boyfriend. You here. What's up, buddy? Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Dead air. It's like she was dumbfounded. I'm glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you. You run in the way. fountain? Yes. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Don't do it, Cricket. Speaking of detention, toxic. this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. 
Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. We are whole so jogging all the way to the, to the city. <laughs> well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. I would be so skinny. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted no. section. And I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. And if you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Are you, should I grab some? I'll, I'll, I'll get some. I'm guessing that's what we're going for. I love the sound of these flowers. I wanted to put some in my in my room of requirement, but they don't work like that. Beard from the forbidden forest. Look, what's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? Yeah, you oh certainly God. don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. To the left is the forbidden forest, out of bounds to all students. Yeah, but I'm really the name precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Well, I'm sure glad they made the character sound like he's out of breath, because it's a little more logical. <laughs> have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. It's a long story. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Yeah, I watched a man get eaten alive by a dragon, so... Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Is he drunk? Hello, Mr. Moon. Uh -huh. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Trash. Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon. Those are moon stones Moon is for building things later. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. He says that so confidently, and later you find out it's like... That's flimsy at best. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Revelio. Sit. Is Caridwins? Precarious cauldrons? That's gotta be it, because of the k sound and all that. Oh, uh alliteration this precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside carowin caridwin's advert avra, 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 advertises the shop's wares it should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion while admittedly eye-catching is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion or any intended effect well thank you that did absolutely go without saying appreciate the extra talk Oh yeah, 
Hey, sorry. This book thing everyone was yelling at me to use on. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you Excuse plenty me. of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Cool. Printing with different sites, shops, and stuff. Okay. Yes. Yep, got it. Okay. Yep. Well, okay, so do I want to go do my one now? I don't know. Um. I need to sell some shit. Where am I? I'm right next to Ollivander's, but I don't think I can just like go straight into the whole wares thing. Go to the um, potion store. Kitty. You know, you can pet the kitties. I wish it didn't do the cut screen, but still. It's cute. Very kidding. Oh. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Did you have a little squirrely thing in here? You did. I don't remember that one. J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions established 1753 is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. They really like alliterations. All right, let's see. Ooh, chest with things. Ooh, new hat. Meow. <gasps> it's locked. I'm not an eight yet. Boo. Hey, buddy. You saw some shit? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, Let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? My assistance has been enlisted by this gentleman without my consent. All right, let's sell some things. Oh, is that just because it's value less except for a little money? <laughs> so... Something I would totally say about this game that I do wish they had um, uh, gotten writer <laughs> is the um, this whole buying selling situation. There's no way to do sell all, and then also, and this one's terrifying. There's no buyback, so if you accidentally sell this motherfucker something, 
You ain't getting it back. Unless there is a way in. I don't know what it is. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. What am I buying from you? Dittany Seeds? Well, okay. So, those don't cost anything. Cool. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. I... Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. No. Thunderbird's pretty dope. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to buy any of that because I could just go from here. Sometimes these tighter spaces get a little dizzy. Let's see something outside. There's a book. Rebellion. I saw another trunk. Where was it? Oh, under the bridge. Ah, darn, is it an eyeball trunk? There's something over here. Nope. It's an eyeball trunk. Ah, I can't do that yet. Focus, Stephanie. Alright, I gotta go to Ollivander's and I think they told me to go here too. So let me go here first because I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna before I go to Ollivander's, I think I'm gonna um, cut this uh, recording. Oh, there's no, oh, no, no. Because I want to be able to kind of focus on one building, even though I'm probably I, I'm probably misremembering it being more complicated than I thought. It's really not. Is it here? Nope, that's locked. Oh, do I? Now, I uh, knock the books over. Nobody An look. Inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay. With this guy, um, once I... I'll buy these, because I have to, and they're free. Uh... If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. But at a certain point, it's better to just get the bigger ones. That's what she said. I'm not going to use all my money on this right this second, though. I'll probably do it later. All right, cool. Um, so Rebellion. I have this habit, Mr. Thomas Brown, that uh, in anybody's like, you know, private places, like their, their, their homes or their shops, I look around and I open things that don't, don't belong to me and I take things out of them. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Get your magic stairs. Oh, is that right? Take it. Enchanted Staircase. This enchanted staircase in Tomes and Scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. 
The proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written products, including spellcrafts, handy for conjuration. Gotcha. All right, well, let's see. Um, special stairs, anything up here? Rebellion. There's gotta be because there's special stairs. See, look, I found a chest. It is in your store, Mr. Thomas Brown. And whatever was in it, I took for myself. And I'm just going to walk out with it. And it looks like you've got a whole office back there. Full of things for me to steal. So I'm just going to walk past you here. Behind the counter, into your private area. Don't mind me. Just took a couple pairs of gloves out of your 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 property. See you later. <sighs> okay, yeah. Here, let's look at the gear because I know some of them were a little higher. Forgive me. So the reason that I always open the mat first is because it's I have two hotkeys and um, it's just easier for me to open instead of going to escape and opening the book because I actually I tried I tried to change that one um even like not necessarily away from escape but I went in to uh see if they could if you could you know assign two different keys because sometimes you can do that and um I could not so because I'm so lazy and I don't want to reach all the way over for the escape button. Because <laughs> uh, I have to move my hand. I, um, and forgive me also, we're just staring at the screen because I'm like touching my keyboard and talking about this while I'm doing it. So why don't I focus here? Uh, but yeah, so I did the hotkeys. I did a map hotkey and I did a quest hotkey. And it's just sometimes easier to go in there. Let's see. Um... Well, duh, extraordinary. Pfft. You kidding me? Let's back up. It said I had two new things. I guess they, I think they were just gloves. No gloves. No capes. All right, I'm going to stop here. Let me see if I've got any new cool stuff. Glasses, more glasses. Not impressed with the glasses in here so far. Oh, I already got those. Okay. What else? What else? Anything else? Uh, nah. All right, cool. I'll go ahead and stop this now. Um, and I'll pick it up, uh, later and we'll go to Ollivander's and get a wand and shit. It'll be so awesome. All right. Um, bye.